Good morning, everyone. It is September 16th, approximately 7-ish a.m. on the farm, and it's gonna be a great Wednesday. Today we are harvesting a good amount from GH2. We finished Benlo yesterday, thankfully. We had to move around a bit of dry room situations which got a little interesting because our normal dry rooms had to get repermitted or something or other. So we're at a bit of a delay, but we have totally rearranged our packaging room and kind of rearranged our inventory room and even our new clone room so that we can hang flour in there legally and permitted. And we'll kind of wait it out until we get our permits figured out and then we'll go back to our normal dry rooms. But luckily our team is pretty quick and good at adapting to change. We also have a nice amount of flour to sell today. We just hit about 98 pounds, which is fun, and about 30 pounds of smalls. So we'll get that moving. We're gonna get some thermostats ordered today to make sure that our temperature control is set all the way through winter. And then we're gonna try and sell a Spindexter machine, which is a massive packaging machine. Absolutely massive, like 20 feet tall. Has like a tire place to like stand and have a dance party on top of it. What's um, California's best seller right now? Runts. Runts. It's one of those like hype weeds kind of where, you know, a wrapper really hyped it up. That on top of it being just a phenomenal strain. It smokes really well, it has good color. It smells amazing, tastes amazing. 10 out of 10. Hi, this is Miriam. Today I'm hanging seed tables. So in total, it's 1,060 plants. This plant is California OG. Uh, let me show you. These plants are pink lemonade, kill and pine. In my opinion, I would say kill it. It's only like 10 plants and it's not worth the confusion. Get a double opinion from Cole and see what he wants to do. How many do we have? They look good. Guava is actually decent. I would keep guava. Mm -hmm. Just like 10, only the best. Sour diesel, I don't care about. MPI, hell no. Or flour, but no. don't, not mom. Awful. No, it's terrible. <laughs> it's actually terrible. I don't even want you to flour it, honestly. It's a pain. I know, it's awful though. It doesn't smell like anything. The S one of the SFB cuts just doesn't have a good nose. So it makes it really hard to sell because SFB is supposed to have a really, really good nose. Or it might just not be SFB, which is also fine. But then I need to know what it is because I can't call it SFB because it really doesn't smell like SFB. I would say if you don't know what they are, kill them. But confirm with Cole because we are short on plans. Good morning. Good morning. Can you finish what you're doing? We're getting ready to install some automated here for this shift too. Sweet. It just takes too much time. All the automation. I love that. Is maybe like 10 or so plants in the forage section that they don't know what they are. Uh, Camille asked me to do, in my opinion, I said kill it. Kill it or flower it if you want it. To me, it's not worth it. The confusion, one, because I can't sell 10 plants of anything. It's not going to make me a pound. Kill and two, it. just confusing for harvest. Yeah. But I know we're short on plants, so I didn't want to just say kill it. If you, if you can either flower them, like if it's too hard for you, then kill them either way. I like for selling purposes, there won't be a pound. So it's not like I can do anything with it. I can't test it. I can't sell it. Look at the health of them, like they didn't seem very healthy to me either, so that's kind of my, like the effort might not be worth it. But Okay, yeah, so, so we're not going to have, after we flower, we're not going to have a good amount of California for a minute. For a minute, yeah. Okay. But no, 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 that's not necessarily true, because we took a fuckload of clones off of them before we cut all those moms down there. Cool. As long as we have something in the next, like, as long as there's teens going in, we're totally fine. But you know what I mean. Um, as long as we have stuff that's going to be flowered that is right. California, that's great. Yeah, it's also something that we shouldn't go crazy hard on. Okay. That we should like do specifically do it. I'm gonna keep a row. Yeah, that's great. And it's something that we should do like always in Venlo where it produces the most. Like do it at uh, the right time with the right lighting and like take care of it because nope. it's like when it comes out great, it's fucking phenomenal. But it's gotta come out great. Man, that's Dying to know. She's very she fast. She looks great. Never seen her in my life before. She's in the clone room. Sassy brought her. Oh yeah, Sassy recommended her, and Paul said we could bring her in. When? Right, there we go. What point? We got How long? Uh, she got here Monday. You guys didn't know that? No. Oh, Paul. Does Nora know that? Uh, it's quite possible that she does. Paul that. just like she yeah, asked me, and Paul you said don't, make it happen. You so, really? I mean, yes, phenomenal. Just make sure that we know also. Or else so she's not gonna she get paid. paid. Okay. Cool. Let's yeah. go find that out. I mean, I gar Monday, I so. I pretty much guarantee she's not in the system. Yeah. Nora has no idea about her. I'm gonna give you like a 99% sure What's on that. We're definitely talking about the same girl. There's only one new girl. I make the schedule. I, I, it's phenomenal. I, that's important. Maria Angus. Okay, did you give all of her information to Nora? Does um, Nora know that she works here? Yeah, she knows. I, I told her that she was going to come. Yeah, Unbelievable. I, so I, told her, I told her on Friday. So, great job, Sassy. Um, she... Great. Love that. Unbelievable. Nice. These look great. Have you guys been doing... I <laughs> scared the shit out of me, Daniela. 
Hello. Uh, how have you guys been doing as far as consolidation to four inch? She's doing it there, but they also know how to do it over there. If they grab a clone and it doesn't have roots, is that what you mean? That is the ideal goal. Just making sure that we do build up enough uh, pre-rolls, make sure that they get sealed, labeled. We could just be ready for the upcoming day. Um, well, first, when we receive the flour, we grind it for one second. We get it out, we start shaking it. We separate it from whatever it's still not grind for it to be pre-rolled. From there, we prepare the cones. We put um, cones on the, what is it, containers? And then we put those in the machine. From there, when they go down, we add the shake that's already been separated. Shake for three seconds. When it's ready, we give it to the workers. They start closing them. They weigh it. First, it has to weigh 1.3. From there, they have to close them, and they keep on doing that. It's a 100 in each container, and that would be pretty much the process for it.